And hello there, I am Francisco from Wondershare Dr. Phone. So today our focus will be on discussing the details of iPhone message tips and tricks. So let's go ahead and dive in tight and together. So iMessage is a powerful messaging app and there are going to be a lot of hidden tips and tricks available for you to explore. In this video we're going to go through 20 iPhone message tips and tricks that you don't know about. So before we start discussing hidden iPhone message tricks, do remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Doing so will keep you updated about latest videos. Also, let's go ahead and move on to our main topic. Part 1. 20 iPhone text message tips. So there are going to be many hidden cool iPhone text strips waiting for you to be explored on the iMessage app of your iPhone. As mentioned before, we will take you through 20 iMessage tricks and tips which will change your iMessage experience. So let's move to the first tip. Send a handwritten note. So with the message app on your iPhone, you can send handwritten notes to your contacts. Instead of typing your message, you can use your finger or an Apple Pencil on supported devices to write a personalized note on the screen. This adds a personal touch to your messages to create handwritten notes that you will need to tilt your iPhone sideways and tap the handwritten icon from the bottom right corner. Number two, send GIFs. So another great thing that you can do is send GIFs. GIFs are short animated images that you can send in your text messages to add some fun and express yourself visually. In the Messages app, you can just search for GIFs using the red magnifying glass icon and then send them to your contact. iPhone also allows you to save your favorite GIF. Number 3. Add Bubble Effects Bubble effects allow you to add some visual flair to your text messages. You can choose from various effects like slam, loud, gentle, and more in these cool iPhone message tricks. So when the recipient opens the message, the text bubble will animate with the chosen effect after typing the message. Long press the send button and choose your desired bubble effect from the available option. Number 4. Add screen effects. So this is going to be another very fun one. So similar to bubble effects, screen effects let you add visual effects to the entire screen when the message is received. You can choose effects like balloons, confetti, lasers, and more. The screen will animate with the selected effect when the recipient opens the message. To achieve a full screen effect, press and hold the send button after typing the message and select screen when the effect shows up. Number 5. Using stickers. Stickers are images or animations that you can add to your text messages to express different emotions or themes. The Messages app provides a wide range of built-in stickers that you can also download additional sticker packs from the App Store. Apart from that, you can also create stickers from your photos. To add stickers to your chat, just go ahead and tap the plus icon and then select stickers from there. Number 6. React to messages. So this is actually a pretty simple one and very widely known. So instead of replying with a full text message, you can just quickly react to a message using tap back. Tapback allows you to choose from a set of predefined reactions like thumbs up, thumbs down, heart, haha, and more. It's a convenient way to acknowledge or respond to a message without typing a lengthy reply or anything like that. All you need to do is just long press the message that you want to react to. Number 7. Replace words with emojis. Emojis are pictorial symbols that can represent emotions, objects, or ideas. In the Messages app, you can easily replace words corresponding emojis by enabling the emoji keyboard. This secret iPhone message trick allows you to convey meaning or add a playful tone to your messages. To use the emoji keyboard for your messages, first type a message and then switch to the emoji keyboard. Now it will highlight the words which can be replaced by emojis. And then that's when you will be able to replace them with emojis. Number 8. Send secret messages. Another option available in the bubble effect is the invisible ink bubble. After typing the message, hold the send button and select the invisible ink. Doing so will result in your message being overlaid by a layer of pixel dust. The recipient of this message will need to swipe the message to read it. Number 9. Turn on and off read or read receipts. So read receipts inform you when your message has been read by the recipient. You can control this feature by enabling or disabling read the receipts and then the settings of the messages app. When read receipts are on, the sender will see a notification when their message has been read. Here is how you can turn on and off the red receipts. So step one is just going to be to open your iPhone settings and then scroll down to tap messages. Step two, on the next screen, find and toggle on or off the send red receipts option. Tip number 10, use iMessage on Mac. So iMessage is not limited to just iPhones. You can also use it on your Mac computer. 
By signing into the Messages app on your Mac with the same Apple ID used on your iPhone, you can send and receive messages directly from your computer. This allows for seamless communication across devices. Number 11. Share your precise location. So this is another very nifty feature. In the Messages app, you can share your precise location with someone by using iMessage. This allows you to send your current location to a contact, making it way easier for them to find you or track your whereabouts temporarily. You can do it also by accessing the contact info from the top and then selecting the send my current location or share my location option. So there are multiple ways of doing it. And number 12, add a new keyboard. You can expand your typing options by adding a new keyboard to your iPhone. You can choose from different third-party keyboards available on the App Store, which offer features like swipe typing, predictive text, and specialized layouts for different languages per se. It is also possible to add new language keyboards via settings on iPhone. To add a keyboard and navigate to keyboard in general and then use the add new keyboard from the keyboards option. Number 13, quick access to symbols and accents. So this is going to be actually probably one of my favorites. When typing, you can access a range of symbols and accents quickly. Simply press and hold a specific letter or symbol on the keyboard and a pop-up menu will appear with related options such as a different accented characters or symbols associated with that letter. Number 14, add custom shortcuts. So this one is going to be a pretty nifty one. The iPhone allows you to create custom shortcuts for frequently used phrases, words, or even entire sentences. These shortcuts can be set up in the text replacement feature of keyboard settings, and when you type the shortcut, it will automatically expand into the full phrase or sentence, saving you time and effort. Number 15. Set custom text tones and vibrations. This is a very simple one. You can personalize your text message notifications by setting custom tones and vibrations. In the settings app under er, the sounds and haptics section, you can choose different sounds or create your own custom tones. Similarly, you can select different vibration patterns or create custom vibrations for specific contacts or message types. 16 automatically delete messages. Now, to save storage space or maintain privacy, you can set up your iPhone to automatically delete old messages. In the messages settings, you can configure options such as keeping messages for 30 days, one year, or forever. Once the specified time has passed, older messages will be automatically deleted from there. Number 17, shake to undo typing. So if you make a mistake while typing a message, you can just quickly undo it by shaking your iPhone. This hidden iPhone text trick triggers the undo typing feature, allowing you to revert back to the previous text entry or even go ahead and delete it. 18. Make your phone read your messages. Accessibility features on the iPhone allows you to have your messages read out loud to you. By enabling the speak selection or speak screen feature in the accessibility settings, you can have your iPhone read the text of your messages, making it easier to listen to your messages hands-free. Number 19. Backup iPhone messages. It's important to regularly backup your iPhone messages to prevent data loss. You can backup your messages by using iCloud Backup, which automatically saves your device's data, including messages, to your iCloud account. Additionally, you can use third-party apps like OneSure Doctor Phone to create local backups on your computer. To backup via iCloud, just use the following steps. First, you need to access settings on your iPhone and then tap the Apple ID from the top. Now choose iCloud and on the following screen, tap show more in the apps using iCloud section. Find and tap messages and on the ensuing screen, just toggle on sync this iPhone. Number 20, recover deleted messages. If you accidentally delete a message, then all that you have to do to recover it is simply that you can try using OneAssure Doctor Phone to get back your messages. This amazing tool is able to recover over 18 types of data from your phone. It also boasts the highest success rate in recovering data. Apart from iPhone, this tool is also able to recover data from iCloud and iTunes. So here is going to be how you can recover your messages using your OneAssure Doctor Phone account. Launch Doctor Phone on your system and then choose data recovery from the toolbox on the following screen. Then just choose iOS and afterwards select recover data from an iOS device. 
Now connect your iPhone to the computer and wait for it to be detected by OneShare Doctor Phone. Once the device is detected, just choose the file types that you want to recover, such as messages, and tap Start Scan. After your message has been recovered, you can view them and restore them using either the Restore to Device feature or Recover to PC option. And with that, today's video has reached its end. So thank you so much for watching the video, and we hope that you were able to learn a lot about iPhone hidden message tricks. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and express your feedback in the comments as that is always very helpful. Lastly, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on future content. So with that said, until next time, have a good one.